That's Showtime at Hope's in Miami. Andre Clarinels gets out the line, steals it, and the Indy 250. Oh, Gordon, the back are in trouble, and I go. Gordon to the wall, jumps right around. Side by side on the final lap, coming to the checkered flag. Steve Morgan, the last oh, lap pass, yeah. and the victory in Las Vegas. Welcome to the NOF SRL. All right, all right, all right. Hey, Matt, what time is it? It's it's Dame time. I said, what time is it? It's Dame time. Live from YouTube. It's the NOF SRL After Dark Midnight League. Live from the Coke Zero Super Speedway. I'm Mario Sakawa. Woke alongside... My good friend and fellow co-host Matt Tuck, welcome one, welcome all, and most importantly, welcome at everyone to round number two, week number two. All of you loved last week's race of the Talladega No Walls. I know Matt especially loved it the, the fans. Most. Yeah, especially <laughs> the fans on the grandstand loved it. Yeah, absolutely. And you guys loved the version so much. We're doing another super speedway, and you guys loved No Walls the most. Well, guess what? We've taken the Coke Zero Super Speedway and removed the outside wall completely. And Matt, these fans are in for a treat. So I want to ask you, what do you think about the racing today? I, I think it doesn't be... matter what you think. It matters what the fans in the stands think. I, I well, I think the fans are going to get up close and personal with the action again. I, I think we're handing out a, handing out a. Bonus points to whoever lands highest in the grandstands, and if you can get top level, I, I might even send you a trophy. <laughs> Absolutely. It's going to be a fun one today. Now, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, never mind. It's set. I thought for a moment Let's we see. had all, uh, I, th I thought for a moment we didn't have all 42 cars all set to go, but there was a visualizing glitch. But let's go to the starting lineup from 42 Two first. Uh, so in the back of the field, we've got uh, Johnny Garner, the GOAT of the NOFS round in the 7, and the GOAT of NR 2003, Fitzy, Zachary Fitzwater in the 29, in their same rides from last week. Uh, row number 20, we've got Brian Ferris in the 41, and Zach Winkle in the 99. Row 20, the 25 of Josh Williamson, and the 18 of Mahas. Excuse me, uh, burping a lot of Hennessy. No, just kidding, it's Perrier. But uh, Matt, you got any words for uh, Josh Williamson? I I I love you, Josh. <laughs> I, I I think you're gonna. I think you'll race better tonight than you will in your roasts. <laughs> um, row eighteen, we've got the man that won last week, Tomas Saldivia, and the rant Our master himself. Our Lord and himself, Savior himself, Stuart Gratton. Yes, in he, row he will 18. win the race. Um, he will he will land in the bleachers and he will win the race. Row number 17, Nathan Orman and the man with the, the stun of the race last week, uh, Mitchell Collins. Domino's delivery, 15 minutes or less in the words of Napa fan. Uh, row number 16, a new ride this weekend. Uh, Jesse Turner and Luke Rainey returns to the two. Row 15, two drivers also return to their rides. Noah Clifton and CJ Williams. Row 14, a new ride. Trey Smith and Landon Smith Jr. not related to each other. Going through the grid, Fisher G returns. Same with Zach Ryan do their same rides. Teammates kind of, but first you got to do it for Dale, Matt. Dale Lightning in the eight. Do it for Dale. Yes, you got to do it for Dale. And then Emmanuel Gonzalez next to him. Bradley Ream in the 01 next to him. His ride from last week, the 70 this time, driven by Max Anderson. Then you got Edwin Mendez and next to him, that's uh, Daniel McMillan. Um, then... Steve Morgan and Reagan Whitlock. First time I've said his name his name in a while. Uh, Logan Williams. Matt, any words for Logan? I I I think we'll we'll see where Logan goes. I figure he'll probably just he'll probably just copy whatever the guy in front of him does. So <laughs> it'll be interesting to see who he gets stuck behind early in the going. Next to him is William Brock. And then continuing on, Joseph Landy Pavlin. You guys remember him from the World Racing Media. I was on his podcast. Um, next to him, Chase Harris. Uh, oh, yeah, that reminds me. I need to turn off my notifications because you just heard one of them go off. All right, continuing on. Uh, Christian Vargas and uh, Brian Webb. This next row here, 
Usman Hamid and Gatlin Downey. Then you've got the 38 Trey Wright and the 14 of a man that needs no introduction. But Matt, you want to give him one anyway? Oh, this is this is our this is our king of the north. His name is his name is Rob Stark, and he's he's come to pillage all of you dastardly dastardly Toyota drivers. <laughs> Owen Miles and Jacob Hunt. Then you've got uh, Cody Smart and Edwin Mendez. And then the front row for today's race. These guys were in their same rides from last week. Ethan Lewis. And then a man that needs no introduction. Our Lord and Savior of NR 2003. And uh, pretty much all of uh, NOFS are out after dark. Uh, Benny Watson, also known as NA6A fan. Whatever that means. He definitely paid for he paid for the pole position too. Yeah, he had I can't to. confirm. I have. He's the got receipt. hacks. He's got hacks. Um. Anyway, today's race twenty six miles around the three mile trial. That's right. This was originally a full oval when it was known as Coca Cola Super Speedway, but then when you put the zero in it, a dog log is added. Still three miles, and it's going to be a fun one. You will not be disappointed. The turns banked at thirty six degrees, and if you bump bad things will happen. If you go from the banking to the apron, you'll flip. If you go off the track on the high side, look at that. Look at that shot right there, man. Oh, they beautiful. will fly high and fly very long and spin very long onto the pavement. And we will all be entertained and come back Who will next win? week. Who will win real quick? Oh, we we all know Stuart Gratton's gonna Stuart Gratton's yeah. gonna win this race. There's not even a question. If he If he doesn't, everybody else should be banned for all eternity remember if you win you keep your ride for next week which i believe is going to be monaco next week so that should be a fun one but benny watson ethan lewis bring the field to green it's showtime for round two and i don't know after dark midnight league at the coke zero super speedway what? 40 car already taking it three wide of course he must be drunk already on lap one remember you can't you can't win the race on lap one but you can lose the race jacob hunt just saying I, I, you know what I? Oh, oh there they oh go already! Goodness. Everybody! Oh, oh Saldivia! Oh. oh, can I have F? Collins oh. again? Not again? Not again! He did it again! Domino's delivery! Who's that? Twenty-one, forty-eight, ten. Oh no! Our Lord. Now this our, is gonna get fun. Our Lord and Savior Stuart Gratton. Boys, I need F's in chat. <laughs> oh! The forty goes. The fourteen goes. Everyone's going. Um. Chief, do we have a problem? <laughs> I think everyone's got a problem. The 38's upside down once again. Johnny Gardner comes out of nowhere. Dale goes spinning. Oh my goodness gracious. What eternity have re-entered. Oh, oh, hold on. Is that Stuart Gratton back on the show? No, that's not. That was a 16. He's, of yeah, whoever that 16. is. 16. They look similar though. Okay, who's have... in the lead for Pete's sakes? After everything, remember. Do we have the cars left? Champ. Uh, yeah, we still got we still got battles happening for the lead. Look at the 26. He's got a nice gap over the guy in second. Whoever this guy is, the 31, who's about to go oh. off the track, just like the five. Oh, oh, take flight. Oh, he gets bonus points. That was beautiful. That <laughs> Remember, was beautiful. the Carnage Cam sees everything, and Chase Harris has pretty much pulled away. He's got a second lead over Daniel McMillan. But like, remember, like I said, we will go to the Carnage Cam after the race because the Carnage Cam sees everything. It's bigger than Big Brother. You know, it's kind of funny. You say you can't win the race on lap one. Well, well, you, you know, as they say, sometimes you have to prove everybody wrong. And, and I, Chase Harris just stole the race on lap one. Don't oh. even be surprised if he leads all the laps in the race, because right now this draft isn't working that well, even though they're like three miles an hour faster. Teammates kind of battling for second. Your points leader in the New Era Cup Series, CJ Williams inside of McMillan for second. Here comes, that's the 99 three wide. Zach Winkle for third. He's got that at the moment, but that's the, that's the lead pack for right now. Everybody comes. dies. Don't look now. He started from row 21 and has made his way up to fourth position in four laps. Here comes Fitzy. 
Oh, Clef Dad, hang on! Oh, 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 oh. Take flight, baby. Logan Williams in it as Ooh. well. Can we get ups in the chat for him? Oh. That was... That was bad. The one saved it, surprisingly. This splits up the pack more now. Battle for the lead between Roush teammates Zach Winkle and Chase Harris. He's up to that back bumper. Take you on board, why not? Over 260 miles an hour, completely faster than what they were doing last week. Look at all the skid marks as well, Matt Tuck. Flying off the track faster than did last week too. I mean, Im impressive. They're both, they're both driving. Flying off the track more. Flying everywhere. More. Everywhere. Here comes the old seven as well. That's Gatlin Downey. He's done well in this, uh, in this series, despite the fact that he sucked in the New Era Cup series. No offense. We had a skid off of turn number two as well. Oh. That's Nathan Orman in the 48 that went off again. And oh. he's about to go flying once again. It's going to go bouncing. And he flips it. And he just won gold medal at the X Games. <laughs> All right, where are the leaders? Where the heck are the leaders? There oh, they is are. he still off the Here track? We go. 48. Yeah, he's still oh. off. We will give you an it's, update. It's on tough. Status. It's tough to get back on this track at the Coke Zero Super Speedway. Just saying. Uh, Downey goes to the lead. We Here missed our twenty CJ. to go. Oh yeah. We have to thank our sponsors. Yeah, we got to thank our sponsors. But first, hang on a second. That was close by CJ Williams and Gatlin Downey. Let's thank our sponsors first off. The main presenting sponsor, Discord. The second sponsor, Hennessy. The third sponsor, Colgate. Um, Matt, take the rest. Uh, I mean, you know, gotta gotta thank Domino's delivery. Fifteen minutes, fifteen minutes or less. I also want to thank Geico Insurance because all these drivers are going to need insurance after these races, and as they yeah. say, fifteen minutes or less on your Domino's, and fifteen minutes could also save you fifteen percent or more on car insurance. Three wide for the race lead, and uh, right now. Uh, Zach Winkle is taking care of business to Chase Harris at the moment. We have more drivers go off. 22 and Benny Watson as well. And same with the 17 as well. Way below the apron. And the leaders are going to come by. Yeesh, that's close. That is uh, Logan again. Ooh. And that's uh, the 66 machine, Reagan Whitlock. And now going for the lead is Zach Winkle. But do you think Domino's could affect the outcome of this race? What do you think Collins is going to do here, Matt? Uh, well, he's coming into turn one. We know he likes to go flying. Oh, he could go flying right here because Harris all over the back door. No. But here's a challenge for the lead. Him. Five cars are battling for the lead at the moment. It's a six car pack. We had another driver go off. And let's see who that is. That's still Benny. Oh. Harris trying to go inside with help from that 99 of Winkle. Good battle for third then at the moment. Now a car separates first and second. They're about to catch up to as well. Bradley Ream in the 01. That's Fitzwater tries to look inside on Gatlin Downey. He tucks back in line. Pretty crazy race here so far, Matt Tuck. I, it's, you know, the the racing's been good. The the race to be the first one to the top level of the grandstands has been, oh, it's been crazy. I've never seen anything like it. Don't forget, Carnage Cam after the race. It is going to be a good one. You don't want to miss it. Here comes the 99 inside. Three wide for the lead. Downey, don't force the issue. Oh, there's a bump. Challenge for the lead. CJ Williams inside. He's got no draft, though. Gatlin Downey trying to get drafted from kind of teammate Zachary Fitzwater. They're Ten wide. laps on the boards. Three wide for second. As the 99 of Winkle tries to pull away. They are three wide. This is amazing. It's unbelievable how they, how this lead pack has survived. The question is, what happens if there are no cars left? Bro, there's no damage. Everyone will be left. 
That's a fair point. Yes, absolutely. 25 cars, though, shockingly, are still on the lead lap right now. Oh, my! Mitchell Collins! He needs to make that delivery quickly or else the pizza's going to be free to his customers. Anyway, back to this. Um, Fitzwater looking for third on Harris. Not going to work just yet. Ream all the way up the track. Let's go through. Let's shuffle our way through the field. Two drivers in pit road. That is Brian Ferris and Stuart Gratton. Stuart got roasted too hard, I guess. Absolutely. And for the race lead, the 26 of Harris back to the point. Downey stays in the second position. Is he trying to make his move on the high side here, man? That's never been done here at Coke Zero. Well, you know, I mean, they never sent cars into the second orbit or playing in the grass. So, I mean, you, you have to, you know, at some point, you have to be the guy, be the first guy to do something. And Gatlin Downey, you know, wants to be that is first it, one to make a pass on the high side. Isn't it crazy, back. though, by the way, that the driver to win last week was the first one to flip this week? That's what happens when... Oh! Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Someone decided oh. to smoke a lot. You, you don't smoke at these racetracks, by the way. It's not good for you. As we have reached the bottom of the hour, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the NOFSRO network. Oh, hi, guys. We're back. <laughs> Four wide, meanwhile... Is that fourth position on track? Yes, it is. C.J. Williams trying to look on Winkle. This is such a great race so far at speeds of a 260 miles an hour. Fifty bonus points to whoever goes highest into the bleachers. Absolutely. By the way, we still have not had our quote of the night yet, and we have not even had a rant yet. What is this? I, I want to. We have. We have to discuss. Like, what kind of a person shows up to a racetrack, makes a giant puff of smoke, and then doesn't put it out? Like, what, what, kind, what kind of a cut, copy, paste, two-dimensional fan are you? Go to on. Make an unhealthy cl smoke cloud in pit road, prohibiting the drivers from having a safe entrance, prohibiting the drivers on the front stretch from being able to see clearly. Making it yes. harder for the pit crews. Oh! Who are you? Oh. They just went five wide for a split uh -oh. second. It's four breaths for the lead. Uh -oh. Williams! Oh. oh my goodness, that was close. Mitchell Collins does not like Cheerios, just like how Napa fan likes chocolate milk in his cereal. That was amazing. I think we should give that 43 car. Give him the gold medal, give him the silver medal, give him the bronze, because that was the... Oh, there we go again, somebody... Landon Smith along. Jr. decided to commit rep. Give that 43 car all the medals, because that was the greatest save I've ever seen. Here's a challenge for the race lead. Fitzwater underneath on Williams. Remember, he started from 41st position. Coming to the stripe, it's our 10 to go. What's our sponsor for 10 to go? Uh, we got to thank the good folks over at Allstate Insurance. I know we said Geico earlier, but, you know, Geico, the lizard man doesn't always show up, so sometimes you have to call on Allstate because you're always in good hands with Allstate. But, 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 Matt, these guys all in front, they have Allstate, Allstate, so they can be protected from mayhem like we've seen in the previous wrecks. Exactly. Got to gotta always, got to double insure your cars. Always have multiple insurance providers. Battle for a second. Here comes Harris underneath as Winkle back out to the point. He's Lap got... traffic definitely being a factor right now in this five-car battle for the lead with Bradley Ream and Mitchell Collins playing spoiler. Now, who could be the next driver they catch up to? Well, it's a four-car draft right now with Saldivia, Watson, Ryan, and uh, Zydell. And possibly as well the 15 and the 1. You know, I mean, old Benny Watson, he, he paid his way to the pole. He started on the pole. Couldn't lead a lap. Ha decided he had to go take a flight. He had to catch a flight, and he'll still get to decide the outcome of the race somehow. 
Well, I mean, he had to take a That's flight. A he's, spon he's sponsored by AAA Travel. His travel agent booked it for him. That is fair. That is fair. Got to give his travel agent a good, cre good credit. You know, pick the good launch angle and everything. You know, yeah. it's just beautiful to watch. Absolutely. Anyway, um, eight laps to go here at the Coke Zero Super Speedway for round two of the NOF SRO After Dark Midnight League. Roush Fenway holds the top two spots. Then RCR holds three through four. And CJ Williams, Mr. Lonely in the Dodge in fifth. Highest Toyota driver, by the way, in case you are wondering. Oh, they don't the care. Moment. Yeah, no, The fans cares? don't care about Toyotas. Yeah, who cares? Um, for the lead, the 99 inside, Winkle, the part-timer in the 62 in the Cup Series, goes to the point, but Downey thinking maybe three wide. Not yet. He's, he's going to be patient. That's a key at the Super Speedways as well. Like I've been saying the past few weeks, patience. But it's 110. These drivers don't care. It's midnight. We do this for craps and giggles. You know, Gatlin Downey was, you know, you got to give him credit. Tried really, really, really hard to be original and make a pass on the outside. But then decided, you got to hop on that bandwagon sometimes. And decided, I will take the bottom lane. But he's achieved his goal. And he is leading the race. Now, he this is what Downey wants to see. This is what Downey wants to see, by the way, as the race leader. Collins forced a three-wide issue and not having Williams and Fitz get on the 07's tail to the bottom. Six laps to go in round number two of the funnest, most chaotic, exciting, and stupidest NR 2003 league that mankind's ever created. Oh! oh everyone's dead. Williams and Reem, bye-bye. That nice was... save, though. The tw you got to give that 29 and 26 credit. They knew exactly what they had to do. They had to get rid of that 01, and then they had to play tag team. They had to make sure their teammates could decide the race. You got to give them but beautiful now, teamwork. But now, Mr. Lonely now is Gatlin Downey, unless he wants help from his fellow old car, uh, Mitchell Collins. That doesn't seem safe. You never know. know. You never know when you know Mitchell Collins. You gotta give that man his credit. He he commits to the Domino's brand and the Domino's way of life of his 15-minute deliveries, and he, he takes that far sometimes. One of these races, by the way, if he keeps signing up for the Double Zero, he won't be sponsored by Domino's. He'll be sponsored by Burger King. A challenge for the lead. Winkle goes to the point. Now Collins trying to spoil a party. Now this could help out Chase Harris in the 26. Three cars battling for what could be a spot in next week's NOF FSRO After Dark race at the Monaco Streets. The No Wall Monaco Streets. Or I don't know about No Walls, because the track's edited by John Norton. Anyway, Harris goes to the point. Now Downey wants the inside. The Roush teammates are going to work together. Harris cuts him off. This is I I I'm I'm uh, nervous. I'm shaking right now, man. This is gonna be a good finish. And look at the pack, though. This big pack here. I'm nervous about this pack as well. They could potentially slow down the leaders. I think some. I think all the leaders are gonna wreck each other. Oh my! Oh, no. oh uh -oh. my! Yep, they're gonna wreck. Take a picture of this. This is amazing. Beautiful That's... formation. <laughs> Beautiful. Four wide for the lead. Make that a screenshot. Winkle to the point, Downey second, Harris falls back to third. Did, did you, did I just see that happen? That was the greatest thing I've ever seen so far in this, the second greatest thing. Mitchell Collins landing, landing a 360 to deliver his pizza was the greatest. That was beautiful. <laughs> Synchronized dancing. Mitchell Collins is like the stunt master of the NOF SRL. Is this one to go or two to go? Two to go. Maybe three to go. Yeah, it's, this is two to go. Two to go. Who's going to wreck? Looks, it looks like this is going to be a battle between two New Era Cup Series drivers and Zach Winkle and Gatlin Downey. Now, does Downey get the help from Collins? Harris looks to the bottom. Collins says, no, let them battle. I don't want Roush teammates winning and working together. But Collins... 
inside on Downey trying to spoil the party. Now this is where it gets good. Oh, High side go. gets the draft. One lap to go. White flag in the air. Presented by Discord. Chase Harris to the inside. He's got no drafting help. And now this could be a three-car battle for the win. Downey diamonds the entrance into turn number one. He's trying to get the draft off of Winkle. Winner. Races in Monaco next week. Guaranteed. Harris could look to the inside here. Downey shuts the door. Oh, Downey's go. thinking. Uh -oh. Harris looks. That's it. That's it. He just gave Winkle the win. Oh, but Winkle leaving a lot of room open. Now he cuts in front of the 26. And that's going to do it. Maybe not. Yes, it is. Zach Winkle wins round two of the Midnight League at Coke Zero Super Speedway. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got a rant. I got a rant. These two rant. aren't teammates. Chase Harris is driving a Chevy Fusion. Who did that? Who did that? I don't know. I think NASCAR did that. Because remember, they created the track pass race view. That's my rant. NASCAR, what are you doing? This is insane. You put the 26 in a Chevy instead of a Ford? I blame Man, on, I blame, I blame Ryan Franz for that. He was commissioner at the time. I agree. Let's blame... No, let's blame Digger. <laughs> let's blame Digger. It was, it was well, everything. No, 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 no. Joke's on you, because remember, these are 2007 cars. Digger was made in 2008. Who said anything about Dicker not being able to affect the future? <laughs> All right, let's just go to the Carnage Cam. The Carnage Cam. All right, welcome to the Carnage Cam where anything can happen. Here's the first accident that happened. That's Turner getting to Clifton. And the two and the double zero try to save it. And there goes Collins. The Grant goes flipping. The first one to go upside down. Oh. And then it's time to take flight, ladies and gents. Nice save by Orman, and there go Grattan and Collins. And Saldivia, too. You can't forget about Tomas. We got an on, but with the double zero and the 21, that's going to be fun to watch. But does he land it here? Rolls it. Rolls it. Let's ride on board. That was a good call, by the way. To race here. Oh, and just beautiful. Oh, a car? That was Grattan that went over him. Stuart Gratton did not just do a 720 mid-air over the top of another car, did he? He did. He did. Let's watch him. Here he goes. Oh my goodness. This man just did this man just did a 720 over another man's car. That what is, is this? crazy. Can someone nerf him? I think someone can nerf, nerf this him. man. Give He's this man feet. a pin. Give this man a pin. Just watch this here. You know, I got the 19, the just beautiful, beautiful synchronization. <laughs> that was perfect. A the beautiful 360. Oh, we need to watch this. All right, guys. So here they come all onto the front stretch. And then someone up front, I believe it might be the 14 of Rob Stark. I think we think it is. We think the 14 of Rob Stark yep. was just like. Good job, Rob. And look at, the, look at the mess. Look at the mess. Look at everyone forcing to go up to the high side. That's what you call a big one. How does a 38 go upside down? Thank goodness we put, we're lucky. He's lucky we left the inside wall there because we were considering taking that out. Oh, beautiful. By the way, that's Trey Wright as well in the 38. Just saying. Trey landing, <coughs> Trey landing that better than he lands his jabs. Ooh! Oh! That's quote of the night. Just All right. Know. Now, if you watch, let, let's take this in slow-mo. If you watch Rob Stark, Downey gets a bump from that. He kept it going. A beautiful save. Even went off the track as well. And look at the chaos he misses. Look at all those drivers getting those autographs. The 20, the 22 just said bye-bye. Benny's trying to save it, but just can't. He goes into the stands. We've got a lot of onboards to show you here, people. And then as you see, Trey Wright. Rolling on his roof. I don't know what the heck Johnny was thinking. I think he just got too drunk on Jim Beam. Rolling. He's rolling, rolling down the river. He's just like, 
sayonara, boys. He's got a miss, but then here comes the Usman Hami. Why'd you have to ruin it, Usman? Look at this drift. Look at this power slide across. Oh, just beautiful. Beautiful. Look how slippery that outer line is with the asphalt. It's like, it's like you're on ice. Benny it Watson. It really is. Benny Watson, the man of the people, you know, making sure to high five all his homeboys. And then he slides back out. Continues his slide. Figures out he's going the wrong direction. Get him down. He watched this unbelievable safety man. A double kill on his. Oh, how did he miss Watson? And Gatlin Downey almost won this race. Oh, it's right here. Watch this. Yeah, I see this coming. Watch Mendez. Mendez. Gatlin Smith Jr. Mendez goes flipping. That's the 36 degree banking. And they just all take flight. That man, that five car right there, I, oh. I think he gets the 50 points. He just landed it. Let's watch his onboard. Justin Zydell here on board as you watch his 50 point, his extra 50 point shot of the night. Oh, just beautiful. Beautiful. All right, into turn three. That's Logan Williams. He gets the one of Clifton. And then the 83 turns him, and there goes the 49 and the 60. Oh my goodness, look at the high air they take. Cool air, dude. And then the 17, break dancing, but lands it. Good job, Logan. Reagan Whitlock was in it as well. Same with uh, Trey Smith and Brian Webb. Let's see Webb's on board. Had a missed. Just missing passenger. Up and over he goes. Look at this, look what at this. Legend. Ryan goes to Orman, Ryan goes flipping, but look at the air! Do a blow over, Nathan Orman! That is very high, Ryan goes tumbling! Can we watch that again? Can yes, we watch let's watch this, this from another angle. That 48 car. Whoa, who was that? Look at this. Long Bye! Moments. That, that 48 car that might have just had the greatest airtime in NOFSRL history. Ooh. This man. This man. Watch this. Watch this. He's going to go down, hit the banking, come back up. That car doesn't roll over. That's that is amazing. the greatest jump in NOFSRL era. Yeah. Greatest jump ever. End of story. Greatest jump ever, Nathan. Legit. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Oh, cartwheeling. You suck. Hey, we don't care about them. We don't care about them. Yes, we do. They, we they care about other one. Carnage Camp sees everything. Yeah, that, that, that's Green that's one. weak sauce. That's weak sauce. <laughs> this man couldn't even clear the grandstand. <laughs> yeah, that is true. We want to watch the Benny Watson cam brought to you by Napa Auto Parts. Napa. Get the good stuff. Oh, wait. Wait a second. I think Napa was thinking we were at the Coca-Cola Super Speedway, the night version, but then he realized we were at the wrong track. Okay, right here. This is this is probably the shot. This is the shot of all shots. This is probably going to be the best shot of the night. Mitchell Collins is in this as well, just saying. Oh, and he goes up. Oh, my goodness. The harmonics... The, just everything. Oh, there's another wreck there with Collins as well. Hang on. Trey right back in the stands. He goes, where's the 24 in all this? I want to know. Wait, what happened with Cody as well? What are you guys all doing? You guys all hire something? For something else as well. Is that, I think that was in turn four. There goes the 18, the 41 flipping. Matt Haas and Brian Ferris. Well, I mean, Matt, I think you could say that this race literally got turned on its axis. 
Okay, this... where in the world? Okay, watch the 24 as well, Saldivia. I think, in my opinion, he gets the best air time here. Just look at that! High arc and angle. And lands it. Alright, so Matt, just tell me what you see here, first off. This is on pause, by the way. I see somebody... I see the pine cones. It uh, looks like they had some fun. And yeah. left some tire marks. Yep. That's what we see. What if we rewind it? Now what do we see? I think someone spun on the pit road, the way that looks. Good job, uh, Ethan Lewis. I think, uh, you know what? I'm going to admit, I don't think that was smoke Ethan Lewis was doing. That was, um, that was that, um. Did he do a 720? I don't know. Let's look. God, this is beautiful. He goes we... spinning off of the 70, and it's... Where did the 70 go? That was oh, amazing. Oh, that is was he gonna beautiful. Land it? If he lands this in his pit box... <laughs> that would have been gold. Gotta give those pit guys... Gotta give those pit guys some money's worth. Alright. Do we have... How many more carnage cams do we have here? As many as we want to. That is fair. And it's, don't be tuned into the race. They just tuned into the carnage cam. Somebody this went to the stands as well, but who cares about that? Because he did not get some high arcing air there. Oh, oh my god, they did it again. They did it again. What is he doing? What is that 15 car doing? That's Emmanuel Gonzalez. I have no idea, but we're about to find out. Oh, blame the 49. 31 got some high air again. They all landed it, though. What in the? What is the sorcery today? This is amazing. Now this be the la this may be the last one. Watch this. Harris bumps Fitzy. There's Reem, and gets Williams for the kill. Took out the 43 and the 29. The 43 they they both landed it. Nice spins by them though. But Chase Harris made a good decision to just pretty much give Zach Winkle the win. But there's one more thing we want to show you. Not really Carnage Cam related, but it may have been the greatest spectacle I've ever seen. Are you implying this race wasn't? This was an amazing race, dude. Oops, Here we it. go. Oh, we have to watch this. We have to watch this. Four wide, four the lead. Let's all That's wreck. Great. Now I want everyone to do a big... I want everyone to do this right now. Take, I'm going to pause this for 10 seconds, not for station identification, but I want you to screenshot this right now and make this your desktop background. Do it now. And I want you to, I want, I want you to stand up and salute this. Yes, this is a four wide salute, my brothers. Look at that. That's amazing. That and is... That's amazing. Look at that as well. Look at that as well. Oh, you know what would be better? Imagine if I had Camera Control Master. They could all do it while going by the Coke Zero bottle. See that? If only we had this... the perfect angle. That is still, though, amazing that they did that. What that so was. This is your top. So this was your final top ten. Wait, wait a second, Gatlin Downey wasn't in this race. What the heck's Clint Boyer doing in this race? I don't know what Boyer was doing in this race. Um, third went to uh, Chase Harris. Fourth Fisher G. Fifth Owen Miles. Sixth Zachary Fitzwater. Seventh Daniel McMillan. Eighth Steve Morgan. Ninth C J Williams. And tenth is Rob Stark. I don't know why Mitch Hobbs was in the 01. It was Bradley Ream. Uh, Stuart, what are you doing finishing in last position, seven laps down? Can someone ask me? Stuart, unable to carry the show. You know, he just, he, he, his back hurt so bad from carrying the show. He had to check out seven laps early. Yeah, I agree. I agree. All right.
Um, so that's pretty much going to wrap it up for us. Uh, next week we go to Monaco. Um, on 110. A long race, by the way. Um, qualifying is going to be key. And I don't think we will have enough for 40 cars. I think we're only going to have like 20 cars. So we may not do Monaco, actually. So I don't know what we're going to do next week. You never know. It's going to be during midnight, though. Uh, that's all I know right now. We'll um, see you at the Nordschleife. Yeah. Matt, final thoughts? Well, I, I want to thank all the drivers. You know, they they came out. They did not try their best. They spent more time hanging out with the fans than they did racing. And once again, proved how completely broken flight mechanics are. 10 Absolutely. out of 10, boys. You did good. Good job, everyone. All right. That's going to do it. On behalf of Matt Tuck, I'm Mario Sakala. Congratulations to Zach Winkle on winning round number two. We'll see you guys next week if it's 1 a.m. or whenever it is. Um, but, oh, yeah, that reminds me as well. If it's before 1 a.m. right now at this moment, go to Discord for a post-race discussion. Am I right? Or is he right? Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, that's it. See you guys. Peace. <laughs>